I'm here. Hi. <laughs> um, hopefully this is working now. Hello? Oh, no! <laughs> Oh good. Oh good. Oh good. Hi. You can hear me now? I hope so. Um yes. Great. <laughs> oh man. Awesome. Yeah, the tower wanted to do everything it could to uh stop us getting in there, which apparently meant blue screening my computer very quickly. <laughs> oh golly gosh. That's all right. We're back. I think we're working again, but we should be good. Um, where did we leave off from, is my question. Uh, also... I'm so sorry. Um... Also, where is my... <laughs> um, where is my audio? That's my other question. Hold up. Un momento. Nope. One second. Um, da -da -da -da. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm just I'm just troubleshooting while we do. Uh, oh my goodness. While we do things. Um, I might actually see if I can put in here. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, and then put that through there might work. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I've got, I've got audio working now. I'm just putting it through my microphone, <laughs> which is apparently a thing I have to do right now, but that's okay. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Da 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 da. Okay. There we go. Nice. curiosity could you like right before when i came back just now could you hear that music because oh whoops this, <laughs> let me pick the right thing um because it was showing is still playing on my computer audio but i personally couldn't hear it i don't know if it was still going through the stream um okay let's continue oh and now we get a cutscene. Mm -hmm. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt had reappeared on Hindustan, meaning Siri, too, might have returned to stealth. Oh, yeah, great. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Thing, is he? The hardest path is yet to come. We must reach the heart of the tower and cast a deactivating spell. The tower will surely do everything in its power to stop us. Yeah, it did. Let's go. Lead the way. Oh, <sighs> okay. Try to power down the security measures. The defensive regulatory magic book will be off. 
Yeah, cool, cool, cool. What's in here? Ooh. Uh, oh, yeah, no, that's fair. Oh, the music's on the quiet side? Okay, hold on. Um, ba -da -da. I can adjust that. I can fix that. Da -da -dum. Um, okay. Let me... Hmm. What am I thinking of doing? Right. We need to go through here. I know, it's so pretty, right? We need to go through here. Hi! Oh, buddy! Whoa! That's what you do? My god! Oh. Yep, this could be very bad. Get zapped. Oh, did you just zap yourself, dude? <laughs> oh, buddy. You gotta be careful with that stuff. All right. is around here. I want it all. <laughs> oh, you done played yourself, buddy. Joffrey's treaties proved highly useful. It's over. Have you not arrived? I'd still be in that cage. Oh, no. Hey, me. It's a trifle, but... <laughs> Techie, please, proof of me gratitude. Sure. Thanks. Though I'd be more than satisfied if you calmed that storm and took this tower somewhere else. Consider it done. And should you ever visit Kavir, do stop by Pomvanis. Aburagi, Baratheon. Wait, what are you doing? Are we gonna see it disappear? Oh, that's it's gone. Nice! We did it! That was easy! I mean, it was a little touch and go, but it wasn't that bad. I thought a level 30 quest would be way trickier. Good to know. Hello. You're alive and in one piece. Yep. One soaking wet piece. <laughs> you teach me to fly. Another time, maybe. Never seen such marvels in my life. Boom, flash. Tower disappeared, and you was fallen from the sky. And the storm. Gone in an instant. Now didn't I tell you? What which we needed? Hey, can't do better than an expert. And expert work deserves a fit and reward. Ah. Couldn't agree more. Always knew on Skelligers were honest folk. Hey, well, if you ever come through here again, stop in. You'll be welcomed with open arms. Thanks. Farewell. Wait, Witcher. Did you happen to see me brother in there? 
Burns his name. He went in with the druid and a few other lads. No, I should tell him. I found your friends. All dead, unfortunately. Sorry. Told him not to go. But he wanted glory. Uh, let's go home, Njal. No point standing here. Farewell, Richard. Thanks again for helping. Hey, dude. <laughs> Oh, buddy. <laughs> 50, 60, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what did we pick up? I know we picked up a sword. A sword. Is it this one? I can't tell. I can't tell anymore, all these ding dang swords. Uh, cool! Well, we did that. That was. yeah, surprisingly easy. <laughs> oh, shock therapy. Keep trying to scare the druid until he recovers his voice. I have no idea what we're going to do with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also got following the thread. Now it... Okay, we got a few things we could go do. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> If you aren't as, like, diligently searching for all of the secrets. <laughs> um... Okay. You know what? I want to... I kind of do want to head back to... Is that Novigrad? Yeah. I want to head back to Novigrad. Um... To go and help out the boys, uh, and also to help our elven blacksmith dude. Um, so let's head, let's head back there. Uh, high rock, for sure. Finding me proved no simple task. For having fallen afoul of Novigrad's underworld buzzes, I disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light in the guts of me. Where to? This I did not know. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to go and do... This is the fancy one, right? Yeah, Hattori. Okay, I want to go do this one. Intolerance and superstition have always been we meet them at the docks. Oh, wait. How much... Mm, I should probably sell some stuff. Hello. Top not swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show me what you have in stock. Um, what can you make? Ooh, you can make fancy stuff. Good to know. Do I have Ursine boots already? No, I don't. Okay, I need to sell some things. Reaver boots. Ooh, the Reaver boots are slightly better than what I've got. Guardsman's boots? No. That I can sell. This I can sell. These I can sell. What are these? Oh yeah, just assassin trousers. No. Nah. Don't need it. 
Okay. So we've sold all those. And... Uh, yeah, if you want to make me some Ursine boots, I wouldn't turn it down. Thanks, pal. Uh... Ursine gauntlets? Can we get a monster tongue? I feel like we should be able to. Um... Monster liver... Deliver. Hmm. We have a lot of monster things, but not specifically those ones. Okay. the Ursine chest armor? I don't think we have yet either. Or do we? Griffin armor, wolf armor, and we're wearing the cat armor, so no, we don't. Okay. Um, we made the boots. We can hide the boots away. We need to make... Oh, we need to buy a shirt. Dang it! <laughs> Uh, and we need to make dark steel plates and hardened leather. Dark steel plate. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. We did that. So now we can make this. Great. Did that one. Ursine gauntlets. Oh, we can't buy that. Interesting. Okay. And can we get Ursine trousers? Yes, we can. What are Sappo's trousers? I think I've already got some of those. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Well, we did that. Ooh, it does look kind of cool. We'll have to check it out in a sec. Uh, do I want to sell anything else? Yes. Mm. You know what? Oh, actually, can you repair my stuff? stuff? That would be great. Could do a real quick repair, please. What is this one? Morgrim. Okay, so that is the thing that I just picked up. Uh, thank you much, Lee. So long. What a sh Oh my god, really? Yo! This game <laughs> does not like me. <laughs> One moment, please. Yet again, it has crashed. <laughs> you can still see me okay, right? <laughs> I hope. Ugh. <laughs> okay cool good it's just the game great 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 yep hi yo yeah if i had like a stream deck or something i should just have a a hold music hotkey <laughs> be like and the game's broken <laughs> um what i might do is try Oops. Near White this was a mistake. 
the sorcerer's yennefer yeah 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 that's not actually what i wanted to do i want to be deleting stuff game um i might try clearing out a bunch of these uh mm -hmm. Oh, now it's going back to the top? Really? Why are you going to do that? Although this is much faster than it is, it has been in the previous games. How's your dinner going? Good. <laughs> I would really love for just a random viewer to come through and be like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair. Ugh. Oh no, it popped me back to the top. That's alright. Yes, 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 yes. She and the mage had fought the wild hunt before fleeing through portals that carried them to Felm. There, one trail ended, another began. A good time later, the wild hunt reappeared. Okay. Meaning Siri, too, might have returned to Skellig. She might have. Did she? I don't know. Cool, okay, we're picking up from here. Alright. We're gonna go back to Novigrad. And... Uh, we're actually gonna go down to this one. Because I realized that we could... We should just stash a bunch of stuff. So let's go do that. The help of our friends, Garrus managed to free her. Good thing too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Siri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novigrad. Pursued by bandits and cornered by the temple guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light in the gutter. Where to? This I did not know. Mm-hmm. Okay, folks. We're back in Novigrad. We're gonna... Sir, are you okay? How are things, Dudu? So-so, I oh. suppose. Might have been days in the past when I'd have said, wonderful. But I can't complain. I'm in one piece. Not bound to a stake atop a pyre. Fair. Huh. Take care of yourself, Dudu. Oh, those bigots haven't the cunning to strip me of this mask. <laughs> Good on you, man. Oh man, you who live here. Black ones, the Danians. Yes. Hi, hello. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Thank you. Okay. What have I already got? <laughs> I have so many swords, it's stupid. <laughs> oh wait, I actually don't have a Bernard breastplate yet. Yo, we should keep that then. Although it's not actually magical, it's just... Uh... Yeah, we can keep that one. Have we got one of these? No, we don't have that either. Oh, yes we do. This one. You have Guardian? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, shoes. What are these? Axemen. Axemen. Guardsman's boots we can put in there. These are actually better than the ones that I'm wearing, so I'll hold on to those. Axman's trousers. Those are sapper trousers, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Dang, we're gonna have to go back through and get all those. Uh, all that gear again, but that's okay. Did I have a shirt in here? I do! Saves me buying one. Okay. These are all the fancy ones. What's this? Fate? I 
think I might already have? Or maybe not. No, that's long claw. Okay, but it's still not better than my current sword, so we'll put it away. <laughs> Mulgrim. That's a bit of Mulgrim. So we'll take this one. And we'll put this one in here. This we're going to put down the bottom. So we know that we can sell it. Um, Moonblade. Is that a Moonblade? Yep. 219. 267. Great. So. Oi. Oh, well, I guess I'll just put that one in here. And this one goes down. <laughs> Those I'm going to keep. I'm just going to put them up here. This long claw. I think we already have. Yep. That one can stay there. Ashroon, I know we have. Is the other Ashroon? Yeah. Not as good. Daystar. This is the uh, thrilling Witcher gameplay that everybody comes to this channel for. <laughs> Inventory management! <laughs> okay, I can get rid of that one too. Nice. Cool, so we can sell all of these, really. Great! Great, great, great. Um... Here that I want to get rid of. Not really. Okay. Oh, hey, Dandelion. Don't mind me. Bye. <laughs> um, what I really want is to do this one. Uh, so let's go this way. Actually, let's save real quick. Ooh, look at that! Look at that beautiful, brisk, crisp list of saved games. Oh, that's where that guy is. Um, where's the other marketplace? Hmm, no, we're really nearby, so let's go over here. Open up. Oh, yeah, this is like magic spot. Who's the merchant? You're in here? Hi. Mm. Uh, sell me stuff. What are you offering? And by sell me, I mean buy my stuff. <laughs> uh, what is that? Oh, the hist. Okay. I will buy all of these. Thank you. Saltpeter as well. Um. Hmm. Nice. Here you go. Nice. Um. Oh no, I don't need cloth. I've got loads of cloth. I think that's all I want to get from this person. Cool. Thank you much, Lee. Alrighty. Now let's go do this quest. Oop, this one. All the goods. Okay. And then later on we can go back to one of the many oh actually we could probably talk to this guy and get him to make us some um, make us some gear. Want, we can talk to Hattori once we've 
dealt with this mission. Um, I'm gonna meditate. We need to go after dusk. We'll go here. Nice. Hey, oh, you can't have a chat. This the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Oh yeah, I just dealt with a level 30 quest. I'm sweet as. Lead the way. Splendid. Come. Alrighty. Let's go, dude. Where King are we going? beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to eye, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. Alright. Ooh, stormy, I like it. Hello, hello. You were to come alone, elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Well, let's negotiate. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the king of beggars? <sighs> 35's as low as we'll go. Oh, oh no! 35. 35's pretty good. 35 is a pretty good deal. I don't want to fight these guys, and I'm worried that if I keep pushing it, I'll have to. Sure. Fine. We'll take your offer. But perhaps we should- You should go out, elf. Agreed. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. You softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick whittler. What? Damn it. Who's this now? Cleaver's voice. News travels fast. What do we do? Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oi! 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 Hey! Hey! Get out of it! Leg it! This way, Geralt! Quickly! What do you mean? Why we gotta run? Escape the ambush? What? Come on, dude. Let's go. Shut the gate. There could be more of them. What's up? What's up? Careful. There could be more. Follow me. Follow me where? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Right. I hope it's you not too frustrating for you. <laughs> so, supplies. That's something we can count on. Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> wow. 
what now? Here we chat while your partner's just blown the coop. Damn it. Hey, wait. <laughs> Good luck. What? Hattori, wait. What the fuck, Hattori? Oh, in his dumpling shop. Okay. I'm sorry. Mm. Oi. Buddy. What's the deal? Hattori? You in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until mid in van. What? Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. <sighs> what? Where am I supposed to find you a bodyguard? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... <laughs> Not on the best of terms. <laughs> that is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Hmm. Dude. You're seeming sketchier by the minute. <laughs> Uh. Also, why would you, why would you trust somebody that you parted on bad terms with to be your bodyguard? <laughs> that seems ill-advised. <laughs> yes, I should interject. What the hell is happening? What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plan business. You need a smack us all it. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get out of here. God damn. <gasps> it's just burned in this place, I swear. Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. <laughs> no, right. You did well, mate. I know. I to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. Oh, boys. What brings you here, Garrett? You and the merchant. What was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that clown in water is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet taught me at first. Skellige need. We need barrels. We'll be rich men. So I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, Nate. Nate. Exactly, Nate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. <laughs> yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? Brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. 
Can I just pay you? <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind it. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skelly. That a mature thing to do? Nay, but it's fair. <laughs> it's true. Okay. Convince the Skellige merchant to pay his debts. Hey, or destroy his it. kids. Okay. Your hair go white. Where is the door? Oh, that's right. We're in the basement. <gasps> Excuse me. It's true. No fighting in Celeste. Okay, buddy. Oi, what the fuck are y'all doing? Get out of here. Whoa, dude! <laughs> Bye. Oh, there is down here. Oi! Get out of here! Oi! Get out of here! Who are you? Oh, you're the bad person. I get it. Uh. <laughs> My dude! <laughs> oh boy. Guy came apart like he was zipped together. Yay! Moving on. Are oh, these more people? Oh, they're down here. Wait, what? Oh, they're down here! I see. Hello! <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm not trying to be rude, but y'all are very bad at what you do. Oh yeah, and this is the place that I've been to before. Okay. Hello? Mr. Dock Worker person? The fuck is up? Hey! The thinking customer will see Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get- Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boar. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay. Just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Dude, fucking pay your bills. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Good. Great! <laughs> I swear to god. <sighs> the amount of problems in this game that are just... men being too up themselves to actually deal with their issues... <laughs> is... <sighs> tiresome. <laughs> Yay! Uh, Sucrus, where you at? Hey. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Got you going back. Took care of it. The trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. Go and do what? Why do we- I just need you to be a bodyguard. Why do you need to grab your boys? I am concerned. 
sorry, just putting socks on. Alrighty. Oh, we're back. We're back in the game. Let's go. Nope. No idea, sir. Uh, this way. Uh, no. Gosh, the sturgeon is a confusing venue. No, that's just a Gwent game. That's right. <laughs> oh my god, you dicks. Oh. <laughs> that was not the button that I meant to press. But it did do the job. Oi. Nice. Just punch these guys into next Tuesday. Yes, yes, yes. I took care of them. Don't worry about it. Calm down. Okay. Hattori, I got you back up. Happy now? Can I have some cool armor? What? Where? What? Where are you? <laughs> oh, there you are. Hiding in the shadows. Greetings, Satori. See, Suku has already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. You accept orders for swords? Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. Oh my god! Crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. Can't you just... <sighs> what are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. <laughs> the materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. Ammonia? <sighs> Oi. Bring him in. Greetings. Oh, Geralt. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. Well, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Okay. Swear to God. Back and forth from here to the sturgeon. Look. I know. I know that the real the best the real best option here is stop fucking doing favors for Hattori. But I do want very cool swords and armor. And I do want to break up a monopoly in this town. So gonna see this one through. But these men all right. hurt my brain. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? 
Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Are you guys gonna steal a bunch of all of the stuff? I think that's what you're gonna do, isn't it? Hi. <clears throat> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following him, you scoundrel? Ah, plain nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You train hints with troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Yarpin sins as regards. Yeah, I'll just pay the man. Yarpin Zigrin sends his regards. By Rune Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. Gotcha. Can do, sir. Where are those crafting supplies? Alright. No, we don't need that. More. It does stink of ammonia. Anything else cool around here? Nah. Must mm -hmm. be it. Great. And you. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. What? Have you any idea? warehouse this is goat fucker hi <sighs> Garrett there's a bloke Atari told us about the bugger who sleeps with cleaver or something Sucrus why are you here with the sorcerer oh, now I see that is one hell of a jest you've pulled Hattori sent you that flowery non chew will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string but first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. <laughs> Understood. Brother, let's mop the floor with these clown Nordlings. Join us, Garrett. Adam. Uh, wait. Slow down, Sucrus. Let's talk. I gotta save me, brother-in-law. Attack! God damn it. All right. Bye. Hey, the dude that you work for just died. You wanna you wanna stop fighting? No? Alright. Bye. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter. Sucrus will give you. I love you like a brother, you unkempt fucker. Friends, course, friends. <laughs> Stab him. <laughs> Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. <laughs> Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. Friendly stabs. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, goodness me. Oh, yep. Thank you. Every little helps. Thank you. Eh. All right. Back to the swordsmith. Ah! You know, I gotta say, there is a part of me that's like... Maybe this is easy because I'm just very good at this game. I don't know. Ooh! 
Nice! Hi! Greetings, Ivier. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn no, finally thanks, Amy. left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. <laughs> glad to hear it. Thanks. You've no notion how glad I am. I have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. <sighs> so now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. All right. But also, can you Greetings, make me something Ivor. now? Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Uh. Listen, would you craft something for me? Um. Interesting. Ooh. Do we have one of those already? I think we do. I think we've made those. Oh, Reaper. That sounds so cool. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're level 25 now. Nice. We leveled up. Uh, yes, I would like a blade from the bits. That sounds cool as all heck. What is a blade from the bits? Oh, yes. And I can... Dismantle all this shit. Actually, I can probably just sell it. It'll be better from... For these ones. Uh, but... Oh, whoopsie daisy. Oh, well. Great. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh! What's this? Edwin Girl's... Oh, is that part of the bear stuff again? Nice, nice, nice. What are these? Oh, no, I need these back. I shan't be selling those. Apologies. Um... Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Is this wax? No, it's silver. All right. Nice. My sword ready yet? Not quite. Come back later. Okay. Bye. So long. Hell yeah. All right. Level 25. Nice. Look at us go. Oh my god, we got two more ability things. Holy heck. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> Not really. What's this one? Targeting enemy briefly becomes an ally. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um, what's this one? Emits a continuous stream of fire that damages enemies. Oh my god. Odd sweep strikes all opponents in a certain radius. Ooh. I like that. Let's do that one, actually. I'm gonna try that out. Um, so if I'm here... What's this gonna look like? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And also, let me have a look at this cool new sword! Ba, 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 ba. What kind of sword was it? It's a steel sword. Yo! Ooh. I mean, it's very cool. It does really good damage, but it doesn't... It doesn't do as much interesting stuff. So I do like it, but I am going to go stash it away somewhere. Um... And then I'm also Hard times gonna there. go find the armorer, who I think is in the square. Okay. 
So we're going to go talk to Hattori at a later date. Thanks. Appreciate it. where the armor usually is? Hmm. Confused. Uh, let's just meditate real quick. There you are! Hello! Top notch swords! Yup, yup, yup. Uh... Show me what you have. Please make me the fancy bear armor. Nice. Okay, we got air sign boots. Was there anything else we needed to make? Nope. Ooh, we can make some executioner's boots, but eh. Um, air sign armor. Uh, actually, we can make a dark steel plate, right? Find a monster tongue for that one. And. Ooh. These ones, I mean, I haven't tried them on yet, but these ones look like they're gonna look uh, like Star Wars pants. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, every time. Thank you. So much obliged, much obliged. Uh, let's see what this stuff looks like on. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. Ooh. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm a fan! I'm a fan! I gotta say! Um, so let's swap out... Oh, I don't have beer technique. Damn. Okay. Put that back. And rage management. Let's use this one. Nice. Ooh! He's got a pop collar as well, which is... Hilarious. Oh, look at how those robes flow! Yes. Hell yeah. God, I would love an outfit like that. <laughs> okay. Now that we're looking all fancy, um, shall we? Yeah, we gotta return for that. Um, shall we, shall we go... Oh no, I don't want to help with the Gwent cards. Should we go? Should we go help set up a cabaret? How does that sound? Hello. Ah, so good to see you. I need a prop. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. <laughs> if 
try not to damage it. So long. Much obliged. Oh, nope. Here we go. Just look at the freak. Hey! That's awfully rich coming from theater people. We don't gotta judge no one, thank you very much. And I'm just gonna get rid of that because it's bugging me. Okay. Okay, so this is where we need to be. Um pause. Pause everyone. Let's meditate. After dusk? Okay. This is great because we're doing time related quests, so we have to skip through a bunch of days, which means we're gonna get our fancy sword faster. <laughs> ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can. Oh save her no, body. it's so much worse. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. <laughs> Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any <laughs> kind of plan is better than none. <laughs> no. Written your lines already. You've written what? <laughs> so you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromas, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But no time. Sophronia's coming. Oh my Stop god. Today. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Oh my god. No, oh, this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Stop right there. What? This does nothing to hide who you are. Bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. <laughs> Drop your sword, scoundrel. <laughs> this is your first and last warning. Dandelion. Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. You're wearing purple. <laughs> More like the Crimson no, also. Not the Crimson Avenger. <laughs> Silence, vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. I'm sorry? Do I have to get bested by the Crimson Avenger? Go on, Dandelion! I mean, Crimson Avenger! <laughs> the Crimson Avenger triumphs again. Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandit you up. Be gone, vile uh. bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless. <laughs> That's <just> awful. <laughs> it's so bad. But when we actually profit from this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Absolutely terrible. Fuck a dandelion. What's your hair lately? Again. Again, you know, another matter of male ego won't accept a loan from his friend is instead going to pretend to be a vigilante, I guess? To probably sleep with a woman. Let's be real. And then get money from her. Oi. Any other fuckers around here? No? Okay, cool. Oh. A place where I can get a monster tongue. Oh. Oh. Hi. The best stock in all. What you got? Uh, 
Very good. What you got? Let me. Uh, nope. Okay. Ah. Bye. Bye. I need to find. Oh, I probably oh, need to what? find a herbalist somewhere. Uh, to grab that monster tongue, but that's okay. Okay. Alright, <laughs> let's rest, I guess. We need to wait for morning. <sighs> There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now. Or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? <gasps> Ooh! Yes! <sighs> what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Let's <laughs> decide where I bust a vessel. I've no idea what Dandelion is like. Yeah. You've known him long. Say something. Oh. Theatrical or boudoir? I'm gonna go theatrical. Considering what we just had to do. Both stage artists. And cabaret is a form of theater. The interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Oh, hey, doo doo. <laughs> well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. Approaches life very rationally. Hmm. You know, he is pretty rational. I would just argue that his rationales are poor often. <laughs> True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. <sighs> the lion. <laughs> What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Why? Hold on. 
What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. <laughs> Less for her than for you, I'm sure. <laughs> so let's get back. Dandelion! Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've gotta help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? <laughs> no idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait, do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Okay. I know how he knows Let's about the spare key. key. I don't need to ask about that. Boom. Find her. Oh, okay. Oh, get out. Files, trumpet, try to pick out. Found it. Uh, the key. Hello? Whoa, what a devil's itch. Get out of my ass. Watch it and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. Hell yeah. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up. Or I'll split your skull. Oh my god. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind is the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. <sighs> Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Oh. Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. Yeah. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. <laughs> in negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Smiling artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's this? Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, he needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. Hmm. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary. The Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No. Said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. <laughs> Portside. See you soon. Alright. 
Oh, dandelion. He can be a bit of a buffoon sometimes, but I can't, like... It's sweet that he's trying to help out people in his artistic community. That is sweet. He's just being a bit of a buffoon at the same time. And the vigilante thing was absolute bullshit. Ooh, hi. Oh no! Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses picked clean. Not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Meeting times first come, first serve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna let you steal from him. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oy. I didn't want to fight. I just wanted to... <sighs> Hell, you just stopped. No, wait. Get out of here. There we go. Now we're down to one. Oi, oi. There we go, come on. Oi, 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 oi. Nice. <laughs> Tell me what you want, damn it. Just Blackards. fuck off. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal but a state, losing his last crown to the races. Great. See, it wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Excuse me. Nice, 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 nice. Anything upstairs? Ooh. A lot of alcohol. All right. Vigilbert Estate. Um, where's the nearest crossroads from here? Yeah, this direction. What a freak. Elvin blood, eh? What a freak. Oh, herbalist. Um you? No. You. Do you mind not touching you. me? Welcome. Welcome. Hello. What have you got there? Any monster tongue? No. What's this? Oh, okay. No monster tongues. Yeah, damn it. No. All right. Never mind. So long. Ta ta. Going this way. Uh, Vagelbird Estate. Badink. Do 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 do. My love. Let us go to the Vagelbird Estate.
Wait, what? What the hell? Hello? Oh, you get out of here. Uh, where's Airden? Here it is. Come on. Come on. Come fight me. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come get some. Welcome. You're welcome. No. All right. Best girl. Ooh. What's this horse doing here? Hello. Huh? Hi. Are you okay, ma'am? I'll just leave you to it. Let's go back. No. <laughs> back to the wiggle bird. Whee. Wait. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. This way. <laughs> Wait. Hold up. What? Oh, it's because I actually need to go up here. <laughs> Got the shivers. Here we go. Oh, is it you? No. Much of a choice. You. You rub like. Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. <laughs> Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. I tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them. Because a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Yeah, I dealt with them. I think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. <sighs> yeah, who is that? Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. Hmm. Interesting. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up. Get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. <laughs> should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Mm, this guy sounds pretty shitty. Here, just have some money. <laughs> Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. <laughs> Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary and Tide. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truly so loaded. <laughs> Alrighty. I like <laughs> lighten their carry load. <laughs> Look, could I have won a race? Yes. That's it, Would I rather just spend the ridiculous amount of money I have on helping someone out of debt? Yes. <laughs> She's honestly... It's possibly just me making Geralt nicer than he's meant to be. <laughs> but I choose to believe he'd make the same choice. Ba -da -da. Ba 
So, we start in G major and <laughs> Well, well. See the crew's been hard at work. Oh yeah, it's redecorated. I love it. Especially the uh accoutrements on the wall. Nearly. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great. The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Ooh, the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Tamarian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. When's the grand opening? Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate. I'm buying. Sure. Why not? That's my boy. <laughs> the foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And she say anything about me? Oh, buddy. <laughs> you said you're fat and you smell. <laughs> Responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. Oh, buddy. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? <laughs> She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time. <laughs> so it's true. <laughs> A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Oh. Boss the dandelion. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's been, <gasps> uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. What? Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition is critical but stable. Oh Maybe shit! That you are a relative. Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. Mm. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries besides her eye? Concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly, someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Holy shit. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. <laughs> Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. 
find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. I don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, <laughs> I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Valid. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Hell yeah. Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Oh. You lead. That little Dandelion voice crack really got me. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Think. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Wait, there's a bunch of. Oh, goddammit. Come on. Not your lucky day. No, I don't want to fight that yet. Come back. There's loot here. Okay. Monster tongues, perchance. Nope. Oh, whoopsie daisy. I need to change that. No, that was here, not the tongue. Oh, you're getting your crossbow ready, right? It's like, what door are you opening? Priscilla. How's it look? Give it to me straight. No sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Hmm. What about magic? Can we fix it with magic? Also, why are we not following this? This one? Arnold Sims. Okay. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come. The quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? You got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastori. Very well. We seek the corpse of a living woodcarver. Okay.
Ooh. You're also human. Also human? Yeah. Human. Wrong body type. Yeah. Well then. That's gotta be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. Fair. Also, among humans, honestly. Yep. Glasses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Um. Let's go head. Let's look at his head. The hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Oh. Just like Priscilla. Get off it, stupid. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Jeez. Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yeah, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems, very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. Ah! So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Ah! Yikes! Witcher? This is rough! Let's examine his torso. What have we here? A deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Good lord. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. That's one gross prolonged sound effect. <laughs> an egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. What the? Wait! Is this gonna be fucking Salamandra coming back? From like the very first game? Ooh. The scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. The edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. <laughs> Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zugel up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt. Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. He made them drink formaldehyde. Woof. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. 
I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience. Mm -hmm. Very rough. Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagor. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons. We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Is it gonna be this guy who is the murderer? His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. Hmm. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. <laughs> what the motive might have been. Ritual murder punishment. Okay, okay. I mean... I would say... I would say punishment. Purely because he did stuff to try and keep them alive for as long as possible. Ugh. God, that's rough. Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. Or them. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. Ooh, hi! Nice Hubert Wright, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Hmm. Um, the uh, uh, absolute sidetrack as well. But something else that occurred to me is that the way back in the tower that shouldn't have been there, you know, like two hours ago... <laughs> Um, the voice of that, like, the the warning alerts in the tower sounded like the voice of, uh, the entity that takes over the TARDIS in the episode where, like, they're on, in the bubble universe, like, Scrapyard. It sounded like that voice. I don't know if Wood it Carver's is. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Oh, good. Evil. I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased here to collect the body out of the question show them out at once as your reverence wishes gentlemen follow me you shall leave via another route why do you cover for us i was covering my own ass if reverend nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue then cut open a corpse without his permission i'd be in deep trouble but you didn't give that a thought did you joachim as ever 
Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case, I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, who is he? Nathaniel. Who is he? A scoundrel. A rogue. Like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. <laughs> True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the aisle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. I could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. All right. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Hmm. Interesting. Um. I think I was totally wrong about that guess about that Doctor Who episode because I just realized that the person that does that voice is Michael Sheen which I had no idea about wild <laughs> anywho let's go investigate from where this attack happened um, okay Near place where he died. Come here, hero. Give us a kiss. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Very handsome. Oh. Oh. Hello. A brazier. This time of year. Six. That is. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. Sorry? Gotta get around him. Kill the horse, What? What is going on? Lady, what did you just start? <laughs> Nope. Bye. Think you'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, deviant. Horse can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm Aww. welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Here I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. All right. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling mm. Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, Jean's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Hmm. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You were aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. 
This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Hmm. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Mm-hmm. Will do. Oh, me head's ringing. What do you want? Yeah, you're welcome. Human. Priscilla's. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. What? Remember good people that the light cast by the fire dispels every darkness, reveals each lie, exposes every unworthy and debauched soul. Not even shapeshifting dopplers can hide from its light, not even witches and sorceresses so adept at fooling the common folk, not the loose women who walk the streets and fog men's minds with their charms. Abandon then the treacherous and immoral magic arcane, cover your bodies in modesty and provoke no unclean thoughts, and the eternal fire will expose for you all monsters and sinners, or else burn you too in its flames. Concerned citizen. Well, you sound terrible. Um, I do also just want to read. Uh, where's this one real quick? Okay. Got a problem. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. Oh. Can we follow it? So, what is it? Okay. Take care now. And yeah. I got him. Never mind. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Yeah. So, what is it? I think I know what happened here. Priscilla fought back, her assailant retreated, and knocked over the brazier. Someone must have heard it. Maybe saw something, started hollering. Guards showed up. Murderer didn't finish the job, didn't cover his tracks. Just collected himself and leapt over the wall. The trail ends there. You divined all this from a pile of rubbish and a few prints in the mud? Do that practically every day in my profession. And practice makes perfect. True enough. Just like I can tell right off if a punt will pay or try to wriggle out of it. That particular skill I could use myself. <laughs> Interesting. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. This way? Anyone home? Be gone! Or I'll sick me hounds on you! Molly! Strega! Kim! <laughs> Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer. Looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit you stupid much lie down! Come on. Come on then. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So you are... So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? 
Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. Mm. The smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleeding orphans in the street a white berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. But you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dishrag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dishrag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Yeah, thanks. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Murderer dragged something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Hmm. Hi. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to talk to you. Sorry, I was trying Fine. to steal your stuff. Need to look. Be my guest. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Eyes, humanoid, completely rotten. Oh, whoa. Okay. Huh. So he didn't even take stuff with him. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Another fucking sermon. Remember, good people, that fire can be both a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames, fire can prepare our nourishment, fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scorch, burn, and incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lessons, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life to, in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or you will reap the consequences of your deeds. Uh, can't interact with this. Can I? <laughs> Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Alright. 
buddy. Let's talk. I already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, the murderer dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson. To him, you, the whole city. Fuck this person. Fine. We've talked enough. We won't learn oh, hey, X-Ray. Take care. Welcome, welcome. Yes. The Witch Threer. Um, okay. I wonder if, and again, this is going to be another theory that is likely not going to be legit because none of my theories about this game have ever turned out to be true. But I wonder if it's going to turn out to be that priest that we, um, huh, that we insulted. I wonder if it's going to turn out to be the one the first time we were in town oh no that was an oxen ferret wasn't it so it probably won't be or was it in novigrad i can't remember but i wonder if it'll turn out to be him uh, okay another shitty sermon remember dear people that a fire once lit cannot be stopped that it consumes everything in its path and only ceases to rage once all has been turned to ash that's just factually inaccurate uh, men cannot flee this element, and if they bow before it, if they let it into their hearts, they too turn to ash. Search then your consciences, live in accordance with the church's dictates before the time for penance has passed. Ugh. Get fucked, dude. <laughs> I have no patience for you and your proselytizing. Oh, God. Oi, Witcher! <laughs> Fires are stopped been all victim. the time. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You are to come as soon as you can. God damn it. Knife wounds. Means bandits drop your ass. Bloody bandits can't go out in the streets no more. At least the father didn't used to kill women. Uh, you Eustace, the corpse collector. I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. I'm pretty sure we've had a mission where we've had to put out fires. One of them. So there have been other bodies like that. Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One where so portly. I had a cut her in the pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them mm. burn. Every last one. Oh, shame. Mm. Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. Reverend Nathaniel. You search Fabian's body. Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets, <laughs> made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, are you a tax collector? Piece off, mutant. Oh, can I punch this guy? Please let me punch this guy. Ugh, I'll do it this Tom, way. what did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Rifles, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, brain letter, punch. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> wipe off the right inner cylinder's nose. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's what? name. What? If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Oh, yes, yes, game. Thank you. Oh, Boy, fucking hell. What was that for? You're everything. Yeah. Thank you, game. Appreciate it.
No, you got the sign right. <laughs> Can I punch him again? Ugh. Fine. Let's go talk to the coroner. No. Oh, fuck. I'm lying. Welcome, Mars New Witcher. Oi. Geralt, right? Your reverence shifty as fuck. The autopsy to you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate <laughs> company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual Can't afford pants, man. City on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. <sighs> Wait, so the Reverend's left. Fuck, okay. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Who is letting this guy be in charge of anything? By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Oh, alas, man. I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Hmm. Look a little young. Yeah, you do look a little young. How old is Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? That's not science. Don't do that at home. <laughs> Don't go huffing formaldehyde to try and look young. <laughs> um. Yes, who's the, who's the victim this time? Yoris Aquinas. A lecturer in theology at Oxenford Academy. Found <laughs> Absolutely not. At his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems catafalque? all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. What is a catafalque? Hold up. A decorated wooden framework supporting the cough. Oh! Interesting, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not good for you in any Let's way. Start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. <laughs> a message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, oh. he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her now. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I was expecting him to be like. Oh yeah, I'm... Oh, that's literally it. Wow, okay. I'm, I don't know, part elf or something. Not... Yes, I've been huffing <laughs> formaldehyde for years, and it's kept me young. Okay. We gotta go. Uh, 
What's the nearest? Uh. No, this way. And this way? Got my eye on Yes. Just want to get to this fast travel. Okay. Oh, so this is the... Is this the estate that we... Yeah. Oh, we... Yeah. Oh, we can go pick up Roach again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, f I fully forget that... That kind of... Yeah, or even just be like... Yeah, I'm a necromancer. <laughs> That's what happens, you know? Okay. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Great work as always. You're beautiful. Ooh, if you can ever get down from that... Hold up. Wait. There you go! <laughs> Alright, let me in. What do you want? Need to talk to Patricia Bankelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. Who's brought this up? And I'll let you in. You'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. <laughs> so be it. I'll take you to Lady Vega, bud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, good fellow? If it's work, you see. Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagelbud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, and cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. It's all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, yep. Follow me. Good, good, good. Yes, listen to the A professional. Fire for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. You've been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in Hyalog Square, but had not a word on her way. Oh. She had all the holy books, insignias, reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Oh. She locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Yep. That'll do it. Ah. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. She's dead. He, he ran out the other door. Catch him! Oh! Holy shit. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Spread out! Mood, we're still here. Make me wait. Down there. There he is! Get him! Fuck. Where'd the guy go? Where did he go? Where the fuck did he go? 
God damn it. I do really like this song, though. Oi, would you fucking- Why are you all fighting me? Was he one of the guards? Is that why we had to fight them? Halt! Or I'll put a bolt between your eyes! Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. God the way, damn it! Girl. Damn it. We got him, Lady Ingrid! Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight at once. Damn it. Mother, why did you do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, the only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. Fair. And let her be the last victim. Please. Hey! Thank you. Hello. Welcome to the chat, Jelly Bean. When you say Zealand, do you mean New Zealand Bruises or original Zealand? She defended herself. That must be why it took him longer. And why he almost got caught. God damn. There it is. Sweet Nettie. Crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time. Oh, yay! Hello back from New Zealand. <laughs> Goddamn lady. Remember, good people, that the fire devours everything in its path, sparing no one and stopping for nothing. Fire burns all sinners alike, be they paupers or princes, men or non-humans, weak or powerful. Whoever breaks its commandments, whoever does not heed the church's counsel, whoever worships false gods, the same shall be turned to ash in its flame. Live then in the truth of the eternal fire, listen to its holy men, and they, for they are your shepherd. Except don't, because fuck the eternal flame. The eternal fire. Eternal flame is a song. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Sorry that I wasn't here faster, but blame your gods for fucking that one up. Oh, come on. We gotta go... Zealand Jr. <laughs> Roach, my love, you nearby? Oh wait, no, there's a... There's a crossroads, like, right outside here, isn't there? Yeah, that's the one! Gotta get back to Cripple Kate's. Um, what's the closest one? This one. Okie dokie doke. We can do this. We just gotta be real fast. Is it not uncomfortable? All that steel in the back. Do you like it? Also, I'm curious. What sword am I using right now? Oh. 
I just don't have one equipped. Cool. <laughs> what is this? Why do I have this? Go away. <laughs> when did that happen? God damn. All right. Let's keep moving. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta stop a murderer. God damn it. Wait, what? No, that was the right place. Oh, uh, it's in this way. Gotta stop a murderer. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. Nope. Not a fucking chance I'm leaving them alone. Guy, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. I'm gonna kill you now. First, gotta tell me why you do it for pleasure, satisfaction, <laughs> achievable with whores in a lot of ways. Many traditional doesn't take killing them. Trust me, who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Mm. Seeing your victims, you never stop at that. I don't give a shit. Let's kill this guy. I just can't listen to any more of this shit. No one's forcing you to, mutant. Great. I'm gonna kill you now. Let's dance. <gasps> oh. Yes! <laughs> oh! Ooh. Cool, cool. All good. Have fun. Thank you for lurking. Oh my god. You absolute piece of shit. Ugh. You're free now. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. Oof. I did everything and I said for the right price of course and then he smiled oh god it gave me the shivers and then he hit me so hard I passed out I was bound where I came to and he was here in the poker in the fire <laughs> calm down he won't hurt you anymore he won't hurt anyone He's fucking dead. And he was a wimp because he only took two strokes. Because fuck that guy. <sighs> okay. Well, he's dealt with now. God damn. Oy, 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 oy. Watch for Harry. My I'd give you a discount. Not good. Oh. Not good. All right, let's go break the bad news to Dandelion now. That it's debatable whether or not Priscilla will be able to talk. And or sing. Sorry, this is not a fun evening. <laughs> We're dealing with some very somber quests in this one, folks. 
<sighs> a distinct lack of whimsy. Yeah, it was me being like some request. <laughs> I know, but here was me being all like, you know, oh yeah, let's go do the cabaret quest. That'll be fun. And it's just people getting murdered. Oh, shut up. Where have I gotten myself? This is extremely the wrong way. Hey, Savage! That's just cabaret. Hey now! <laughs> I do a lot of musical theater, X-Ray. Watch yourself. <laughs> okay. And back upstairs. Well. How's better? Right? Hey, Sandwich. Yes. Yo! Lady! Did you take care of what I asked? I'm here. Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the dryads of Brockalon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll. <laughs> Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Calendula. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Aww. Buddy. Ah! Oof. Oh, that's so weird. Ah, uh, I really like. Ah. Oh. I'm happy that we finished that quest, but there's also just the sinking feeling in my heart of, like, we might not. Like, is, is Dandelion going to be in the rest of it? Is that the last time? Oh. <sighs> oh, boy. My goodness. Oof. <laughs> yeah, my heart, my chest is really <laughs> having an emotional moment of like, you know, this is the last Witcher game. And we're not close to finishing it, but we're not super far away. Oh, there he is. <sighs> um, okay, where am I trying to go? Uh, am I trying to go here? Yes. Okay. Yeah! Oh. Very excited. <laughs> I am very excited about that. That'll be super fun. Hopefully you're gonna get to do some more stuff this year. It'll be cool. I'm excited to meet some cool, some more cool people. Make some more cool friends. It'll be great. 
Are you planning on taking part again as well? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fully up with the play. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey, you got my sword? Greetings, Ivier. Greetings, girls. How might I be of help? Do you have that sword? That real cool sword, maybe? My sword ready yet? It is. Yes. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. What's the bet it's worse than everything else we have? <laughs> well, this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ivir. It is I who thank you for everything. <laughs> uh, we're talking about Yes And. It's a charity event that um, myself and Haunted Sandwich both took part in last year, um, where we played a bunch of D&D &D to raise money for the New Zealand Cancer Society. Um, and it was really fun. It's, it's a wild 24 hours, but um, it's really cool. It's a really cool event, and it's coming up again this year. Um, in August, I think it is. Um, I will probably talk more about it closer to the time. But yeah, they've recently opened uh, submissions again for people to start uh, helping out. So it should be really cool. Listen, would you craft something for me? Uh, okay... Yeah, you literally just make swords. Okay. Did I get... No, just blades and the bits. Okay. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. Can you Listen. repair my stuff? That would be great. Boop. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> okay. Um What can we sell? Definitely that. Oh, it is slightly better than our current sword. <laughs> oh, buddy. Um What are these? I think I want to hold on to most of these. Oh, I can sell that though. Um, I could do with some more cash, so I'm going to do a quick bit of selling, um, I think. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Because, look team, I have so much money in this game right now. <laughs> Look, we already sold him out. Great. <laughs> so long. Okay. Let's get this fancy new sword equipped. Ooh. Very fancy. Oh wait, that was the blade from the bits. Oh, they were both blades from the bits. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Oh, amazing! <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but this is the better one. Okay. Um, kids and children ask my new. <laughs> oh, if they knew, if we knew what. Oh, buddy. NCA chemistry. I have no idea. Maybe, like, no, I don't, I, unless you're talking about, like, genes and stuff, maybe? <laughs> How do you answer that? Honestly, Samich, you answer it honestly and say, yes. <laughs> I know them personally. <laughs> um, we'll chuck that on there. And is there anything that gives us uh 
<laughs> yeah. It is interesting. Like, I've run, um... Oh, God. Oh, no. I couldn't answer that one. That one, they're on their own. <laughs> um, okay. Are these... Oh, feline. Griffin. What? Um... Give ourselves some more art. Why not? Great. Great! And we're back to like 3,000 orange. Okay. Oh, we're nearly 10 o'clock. I wanna. Uh. I need something to moderately lighten the mood. What do I wanna do? Contract on the Woodland Spirit. Serious track. They haven't been back to Velen in a very long time. This than the fairy question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I don't I don't know what you're like when you're when you're teaching and stuff, but they could also just be trying to suss out if you're a sociopath. Because, you know. If they're trying to see if you're capable of experiencing love and capable of empathizing with fairies, maybe. Who knows? Um... Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> um, which one do I want to do? I want to do this. Let's go with Mysterious Tracks. I want to go travel anywhere else and go go help some people out That's your thought. <laughs> thanks but no thanks i'm good oh yeah for sure for sure i mean i know that's a thing that kids used to do in my class in high school they were the worst like would literally just pester substitute teachers to make them cry. It was horrible because teenagers are very often the worst. <laughs> what? Another one? Be gone! You witches are trouble. Village has suffered enough. Oh wait, what? Oh, you're a you're a quest, sir? Hello. Death? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? Where? I'll tell you where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he dunked things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. So what did he want instead of coin? said for pay he takes something i had that did not yet know about uh. and here the door swung shut behind him and at last started wailing what's the tears i asked oh i can't bear it she says i'll kill the horse and <laughs> go on child of surprise the girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead he howled for a mutant i said then she told me told me Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. <laughs> witchers are sterile. Well, you done fucked up there, Eldevin. <laughs> if he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one. Kyle be gone to rut it underneath me own roof that I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. Wow. Witcher wannabe? Man, are you? Who's the Witcher wannabe? Yes! Level 10 quest. This is what I wanted. Let's go fuck him up. <laughs> Do not hear the huntsman. 
we're gonna fuck up the imposter. Do 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 do. Whoop. Assuming my game doesn't die. Ooh. Always a risk. Always a risk when streaming Witcher 3. Uh, Hi. Oh yeah, did you already kill the dude? That'd be funny. Thanks. That would be very funny. Hmm. Strange. What's strange about him? It's footprints? Thank you, thank you. you came oh my time. god. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style. It's new to me. <laughs> I just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? <laughs> You're the real thing. Uh-huh. Witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? Welcome back. I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul. Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it from a traveling peddler. Oh, if the villagers are coming, don't tell them about me, please. Monster slain. Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Yeah, there's only one. Why do I need to defend this man? <laughs> only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind. Special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Ugh. Let him go, this time. Never again, I swear. He's a halfwit, ain't he? Going after a ghoul. Yeah. Things would be simple if the ghoul had torn him apart. As it is, we've got ourselves a moral dilemma. <laughs> Let him go. Dilemma. Don't ye come near our village. We'll set the hounds on you if you do. Is that clear? Yeah. Thank you. Get out of my sight. You idiot. Also, uh, please give back the pendant, you asshole. But no, apparently not. Anywho, uh, where's my. Let's go back to this contract we were here for. This one. Where's the hunter? My love! Where are you? Oh. Oh, hi! Hey, love! Let's go! To the hunter! Ahoy! Oh, actually. Slow. Hold up. <laughs> He did only have one sword. Oh, good. You know what? I think this glitch is the game telling me that uh, I need to end the stream. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, Faster. buddy. All right. Let's, uh, let's just stop right here. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to this at a later date. We'll come back to it later today. We've made a lot of progress, though. We made a lot of good progress tonight. Um, mustard sword go bye bye. No. Um, yeah. If you'll, if the rest of y'all haven't noticed, there's there's emotes now. There's a cool some cool emotes that I'm pretty happy about. Um, we got a mustard sword. We got it. Okay. We got our own little twitch hype emote, and we've got. Some other ones that I'm quite excited about on the way. Um, yeah. Sadness. Um, but yeah. So if you want them for more than 24 hours, then uh, you can sub if you want. But you don't have to. Because you can also just use points. If you're hanging out in the stream, you can collect points and then spend them to get an emote. They're real fun. Um, yes. 
that is it for this evening. I think we did we did get through a bit of stuff. We sorted out the tower. We learned that we can actually handle level 30 quests. That's great. Um, and we got Dandelion a decent ending with his lady love, I think. I think. I think. Um, although I am, yeah, kind of emotional that, you know, it's gonna be the end of playing the Witcher soon. That makes me really sad. <laughs> we'll just have to find something else to do, which I think we might already have, I might already have some ideas about, but, um, that's it for this evening. Thank you all for coming and hanging out. I am gonna be streaming next on Saturday, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Saturday. Um, and like I said at the start, uh, life has gotten a little bit weird, so uh, we'll probably be streaming on Tuesdays rather than Wednesdays for the foreseeable future. Um, well, for at least a little while. Um, but yes, if you want to come and watch us play some more Witchwood, it's very fun and ridiculous um, on Saturdays. Come stop by. Um, if you haven't but if you aren't already, hit follow and you'll get to know when these weird scheduling changes happen. Um, is Samsara live right now? Because I would love to do that. Let's find out. Uh, yeah! Let's do a raid! Um, do I have to do it right? Oh no. Oh no. How does one do this and then oh no it's not doing the thing hold up let me get twitch open it just might not let me do it while i'm just in obs please don't oh yeah hell yeah sweet yes let's go raid samsara she's going and playing some more uh, playing Celeste. Very cool. Very fun. Um, it, I would be very interested to see how what her uh how she goes with it. But it looks like she's gotten pretty far already. So good on her. Um, thank you for hanging out. Go send some love to Samsara. Get your mustard swords ready if you can. <laughs> uh, and I shall see y'all next time. Bye. In two, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, we're going now. Goodbye.